Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond Your Knowledge. So today we're going to be checking uh, Lysosoma storage diseases. And before we continue, so I would like to share with you Philippians 2, 5 to 8. And this one says that have this mind among yourself, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, you know, count equality with God a thing to be grabs, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, humbles himself, humbled himself, by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. So that was Jesus, and he becomes servant and was obedient to die on the cross. So, now we're going to continue. Let's see like some storage diseases. Okay, so and now, so everything starts with a, of course, in the lysosomes. So, both the lysosomes are organelles, but where we can find it in the cytoplasm of the eukaryotic cells, and also what does it do? So, they are going to help in the degradation of substance by the action of enzymes okay so that are in enclosed in a membrane okay so now let's just see here a uh, next i will show you a picture of the cells and you can see the cytoplasm with the line and because the lysosome are in the cytoplasm and the lysosome are in the circle the blue one so now we're going to enter into the pathways of the lysosoma storage diseases. So, and before we before we see the pathway, sorry. So, there are lysosoma storage diseases. We have two groups. So, one is sphingolipidosis, and then the other is mucopolysaccharidosis. So, each group, the sphingolipidosis has six, and the mucopolysaccharidosis has two. So, those are the most important for the USMLE. So let's just number the um, sphingolipidosis. So the first one is Tay-Sachs disease. The second one is Fabry disease. The third one is metachromatic leukodystrophy. And, and then we're going to see now the number four, which is Cravis disease, five Gaucher disease, and then name and peak disease. Okay, so in the mucopolysaccharidosis, we have two. And one is called Horler syndrome, and then the other is start with the same, which is HU, which is Hunter's syndrome. Okay, so let's just move on to the next one. And now, here with the lysosoma storage diseases, so we're going to see the pathway. And here, everything starts with ceramide. So, ceramide probably. Why well, just said that everything starts with the ceramide? Ceramide, first, the meaning of the ceramide uh, comes from the Latin word ceramide or ceramide, and which cera means wax and amide, so which is a component of the vernix caseosa. Okay, so but the ceramides in our body are a family of a waxy lipid molecules. This ceramide is composed of sphingosine and fatty acid. Ceramides are found in high concentration within the cell membrane of cells since they are component lipids that make up sphingomyelin. Um, listen to this. One of the major lipids in the lipid bilayer is the sphingomyelin. And then we will see how this is affecting the diseases. So, with that in mind, I think also they are involved in different things like for example differentiation uh, of the cellular signaling differentiation proliferation program cell death of those cells now this is ceramide now we will see here that i just um draw some um, lines so this this is just for the purpose that we practice at the end so the the pathways so this is how it looks like without letters okay so now we will fill this. Alright, so my diseases continue. Ceramide. 
and then we start so with the first one is going to be GM2 so you want to go from GM2 to GM3 I just said before so but you need an enzyme and this enzyme of, uh, is going to show up as green so and the enzyme is exosaminidase A and then you go from GM3 because you already got the GM3 you need to go to glucose cerebroside okay now on the other side you need to go again to glucose cerebroside but through another component and this one is called ceramide 3 exocyte and you need an enzyme and this enzyme is called alpha galactosidase A okay so then we need to continue remember our goal is to go to ceramide so then we continue and here we have now from glucose cerebro side we need to go to ceramide and the enzyme that we need is glucose cerebro cidase okay beta glucose cidase is the alternative no name so then after that so we have another component here which is called sphingomyelin and this new enzyme is sphingomyelinase well now we go to the south part or to the bottom of the ceramide on this left corner so we have this component called sulfatides and then sulfatides need an enzyme to continue working and the enzyme is aryl sulfatase okay so now after that you get a product and which one do you think it is and it is <coughs> sorry um yeah so aryl sulfatase a and then you need galacto i mean the, the product galactocerebrosidase galactocerebroside and the enzyme is galactocerebrosidase which is going to convert to ceramide so let me just say it one again sulfatides go to galactocerebroside using iris sulfatase a galactocerebroside need to go to ceramide bonita enzyme and the enzyme is galactocerebrosidase okay so move on and here you can see all those numbers so one for exosaminidase A, two for alpha galactosidase A and so on so the purpose of those numbers is to name the diseases okay so and now let's just see the diseases in the lysosomal storage um, disease and we have this here have done numbers and then let's just see now the diseases so the first one if you are coming from GM2 to GM3, you have the enzyme exosaminidase A. If the patient, for any reason, doesn't have this enzyme, is going to have the disease Tay-Sachs disease. So Tay-Sachs disease basically present Tay-Sachs disease. It is a progressive neurodegeneration developmental delay. They have a cherry red macula, um, also the lysosomes with onion skin, but this one, Tysar disease, doesn't have a parasplenomegaly. Now, there is another disease that is going to look like this one, which is one that we're going to see, but have um, um, heparasplenomegaly, is name and pig disease but we will just go to that one soon now if you don't have this enzyme exosaminidase a so gm2 gangliosidase the substrate the substrate is going to be accumulated this disease in is it is an orosomal recessive so now let's just move on to our second disease and this disease it's the one that is called fabry disease so Fabry disease, Fabry disease, it is um, by the enzyme alpha galactosidase A. Okay, and this disease, it is the only one in this group of the sphingolipidosis, which is X-link recessive. Fabry disease has the triad of episodic peripheral neuropathy this is one and thomas and also hypohydrosis so they don't sweat well 
So if this is in the early stage of the disease, in the late stage of the disease, there is a progressive renal failure. And now if it's with the first sign of the progressive renal failure is proteinuria. So now also the late um, of the disease of Fabris, it is also present with cardiovascular disease. Now, which substance do you think is going to be accumulated? Yeah, it, you're right. Se um, ceramide to exocyte because you cannot go from ceramide to exocyte to glucose brocyte because alpha galactosidase A is deficit. So let's just see our third disease. So we are now located in glucose cerebrocyte and this disease which is going to have deficit of the enzyme glucose cerebrosidase or beta glucosidase the enzyme the, the this the enzyme and the disease is called Gaucher disease okay so Gaucher disease present I mean first aerosomal recessive and this one is the most common of all those and has hepatosplenomegaly, pancytopenia, osteoporosis, a vascular necrosis of the femur. Um, also, they have bone crisis, so that means pain. They have Gaucher cells, which Gaucher cell, it is basically leaping latent macrophages resembling crumpled tissue paper. So, and the, 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 the substrate going to be accumulated is glucose cerebrosite okay because you cannot convert it to ceramide but if everything goes well you arrive to ceramide finally from that part of the pathway and our next disease is from sphingomyelin to ceramide with the enzyme sphingomyelinase which is sphingomyelinase going to be deficit in Neyman peak disease and this uh, Neyman peak disease present with a progressive name and pick this is progressive name and pick this is progressive neurodegeneration hepatosplenomegaly foam cells and also lipid latent cell macrophages so the foam cells are the lipid latent macrophages okay what was the one that we saw that has lipid latent macrophages gaucher but gaucher has lipid latent macrophages resembling crumpled tissue paper which is called gaucher cells but this one is in name and pig disease called foam cells now um name and pig disease has a cherry red spot on macula like thai such disease but it differentiate because i will find in the patient with name and pig disease hepatosplenomegaly okay so let's just uh yeah so if everything goes well so we need we can move on to our next disease and our next disease is come from sulfatide to galactocerebrosite using the enzyme sulfatase a if aerosulfatase a is deficit the patient is going to get metachromatic leukodystrophy okay so and then this disease how is going to present it is the patient has a demyelination of the central system nervous system or the peripheral nervous system with ataxia and also dementia dementia so and the uh, substrate going to accumulate cerebrosite sulfate i just remember now so i didn't mention in in neumonic disease the the substrate that is going to be accumulated and is sphingomyelin so basically the 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 substrate accumulated it's the substrate that is before you have the enzyme so if your enzyme fail everything before or uh, the, uh, the substance before is the substrate which is going to be accumulated so let's just come back again metachromatic leukodystrophy just to review it so central and peripheral demyelination with ataxia dementia and the enzyme deficit is aerosulfatase a so it is autosomal recessive and uh, it is cerebrosized sulfate now our next disease it is the one 
that you go from galactocerebrosite to ceramide and the enzyme that is going to be affected galactocerebrositase and the disease called Krabi's disease. Krabi disease it is presented with peripheral neuropathy so how we can remember that so start with the letter K imagine the center line of the K which is the central but it is not come it is go to the periphery you have two lines one up and one going down so this is go to the periphery and create this disease uh, peripheral neuropathy destruction of oligodendrocytes developmental delay optic atrophy and globoid cells so it is also summarized as if as the others with the exception of fibrosis which is the only one in this group of the uh, sphingolipidosis which is X-link recessive so um, the substance I mean the substance accumulated in the Krebi disease galactocerebrosite cycosine okay cycosine basically it is a highly cytotoxic lipid that accumulates in the nervous system in the absence of this enzyme or or, or the enzyme of galactosyl um, ceramidase so chemically it is a galactoside of sphingosine so this is cycosine so important so it's very or highly cytotoxic lipid that's going to accumulate the nervous system and then the consequence it is for example preferred neuropath neuropathy destruction of the oligodendrocytes developmental delay because you or you you you, you your preferred nervous system is not working well optic atrophy in global cells well with that in mind we can move on so lysomal story diseases so here you have this and please pause your video and fill these blanks so basically the green it is for the enzyme the red is for the disease and the blue is for the substrate okay so just right there and so after you are done so you can come back and then you can uh, review it I hear it is all the um, answers again and then let's just move on and now thanks good job and here we saw all those finger lipidosis and which are those that are on the uh, left side like Tysa disease, Fabry disease, Metachromyloco disease, Krabi disease, Gaucher disease, Nemapic disease. So now we're going to see the mucopolysaccharidosis and as we mentioned at the beginning we have two. One is a Hurler's syndrome and then the other is Hunter syndrome. Okay so now let's just see those two and the enzyme of each of those so if it's for holders it is alpha 2 idolini taste and then for hunters because you're going to hunt is going to eat and after you eat so you ate and for this is going to be i do donate to sulfatase okay so and then thank you so much for watching and god bless you all and keep it going the good work god bless